Yeah, it was in 1977 for the Queen's Silver Jubilee. I was five years old at the time, and I just remember um, where I lived, all the houses being decked out with all the flags, um, and my nan's house, she had, you know, in her street, I think there must have been some competition as to who could uh, sort of decorate and have the best decorated house. Um, and we went to, my brother and I, my brother was about one years old at the time, we went to a party, there was a big party at the leisure centre near where I grew up. And um, I had on, I can remember a jubilee vest that my nan had bought me, and we had these colourful hats on. And I just remember it being a real big day of celebration. So that was my first memory of her, really. Interestingly enough, when I was small, Mam took the time and the energy to tell us, look, these aren't your royal family because they were on the telly and obviously given great pomp and circumstances and respect. Now, Mam showed them no respect, respect as people, um, but not respect as a title. She always said they're no better than you as royals, but they're not yours either. So I understood two concepts, the fact that they were just people of privilege and they were put on a pedestal, but they weren't better than me because they were up there. They just had more money and they were privileged, they were born into that. So I sort of understood that, but she also told me that they weren't mine, that my royal family died in the dirt viciously. And she did drill this into me. About 45 years ago, I was a member of the um, Army and Navy Club. So she was coming to reopen the club when it was open, when it was ready. And so my wife and I, we went to the um, library, stood with a line of people with our backs to the fireplace, Queen came in, nodding and smiling quite gently, very somber smiles. Then she stood opposite me. She didn't look at my wife or the other lovely woman on the other side. She looked at me in a great big smile and she said something that I've said to many good people in my early life. Do you come here often? <laughs> <laughs> I had uh, the distinction of being awarded the MBE for the, my services to the city of Cardiff. So I went to Buckingham Palace with my wife and two daughters and there met a majesty who I've been devoted to. And since she was a little girl, she was very interested in why I'd received the award. You know that the queen is very, very fond of handbags, as is my wife. And my wife sat in the front row as it happened. And she could see the Queen looking at my wife's handbag. And my wife was looking at hers. And the two of them started to smile because they knew what they were doing. They both realised that they were looking, eyeing each other's handbags up. I'm going to hear all best, my name is Nia. And all best there, Johanna Kansas. And I got it when he knew Senez. I'm a fucking ta, I mean, I was like Petwar. And Gurdi Esquitlava Sharadeva, he was a very nice jubilee, I mean, I was like Saith, he or Sav Harlech. I mean, then he gave the body service or through Vark, Shalk, Gwyn, or the Milka Perko, our platform Harlech. And I'm really a sum of our honomy as a Rinjan, living back and Bethach, nor Mark. I will write in a gate chef love and the other was a roll of a Enogna and great dictator of Charlie Chaplin. And uh, in line, of course, other in any welding son or actress on Firviol. I think she's, she's obviously changed because with age you do change anyway. Um, I think she has without losing any of the dignity, which she certainly has. She's changed in style. She's gone with, I think, she, with both the, um, dress and uh, speech, and even the speech has changed, I think. She's really kept up with the times, yes. Um, I think um, she's become much more accessible, I think, over the years. In the past, I think the royal family was seen as very much removed from us, and even though they still are to a certain extent, I think these days they're also seen as much more human as well, particularly the Queen. Um, obviously her attitudes have changed over the years. 
you know, like Charles, allowing Charles to marry Camilla. I think that was a huge kind of um, turning point, really. And the fact that Prince William has just married a so-called commoner, Kate Middleton, I think that's all changed a lot over the years. Mae hagwedd i wedi newid yn yr ystyr, wedi datlygu yn yr ystyr i bod i'n gweld, fel dwedodd i'n gri iawn ar yr araith lwytha wrth agor y pedwerydd gynulliad. Mae'n gweld yn gri iawn bod datganoli wedi croi llais Cymru ac yn ei thyp hi wedi croi y deyrnas. Ond dau'n sylwi ar ni, dyddi yma, dydi hi ddim yn gwneud gormod o, rhoi gormod o bwyslais ar y busnes yma o gryfhau'r deyrnas. Mae fel tasau ni weld o fel rhywbeth naturiol sydd wedi digwydd, a dyna da ni wedi drafod, os fod yn yddo wedi digwydd, bod y tebygrwydd yn byth sydd wedi digwydd o fewn y deyrnas unedig ymhlith y cenhedloedd sydd yma, a'r hyn sydd wedi digwydd yn y gymanolad ma'n ar i fath o, er fosa hi ddim yn cytuno ar gair ma'n aml, ma'n a ddad drefe di geithiau mewnol wedi digwydd, a hi'r parhaol. But I think that she has matured in a wonderful way. I think she has led this country I know she's only a figurehead leader, but I think that we are, in Britain, we are the most fortunate people to have such a person as our head. I think that countries after countries would give their arm and leg to have a leader like our Queen. I think, and that has matured and got better. Not got worse, got better. I think Diana's death is probably a bit of a turning point in how the public's perception to the Queen has changed. I can remember at the time she was up in Scotland and didn't come back to London for about five days or so. And then suddenly when, when she came back and she made her address to the nation, suddenly I think people's views of her changed. Um, she was seen then suddenly as much more human, in touch with her feelings. She's become more open in the public, and I think they learned very quickly from the Princess Diana saga, but um, they learned when she died, the public outcry went straight away against them, and against her personally, I think. So I think she realised that she needed to be a bit more, you know, um, open, open in public, and watch, watch what she said in public, and how the public perceive her I wouldn't say anti-Diana, but her defence of Charles. So um, I think they've learned to adapt and overcome. And you'll see that learning come now with the whole PR campaign for William and Kate. Having regard to the fact that successive Prime Ministers and leaders of the country politically have all accepted that she is the person to whom they have to pay a certain tribute and the way they have done so is in itself a marvellous tribute to her because I mean when you think of the Prime Ministers that have come in, in during her, her service but they have all had a always paid obeisance to their Queen. And this, I think, has cemented the strength of this country tremendously. And a roedd yn syniad i am rôl y Fynhyniaeth yn eitha clir. Dwi'n meddwl bod o'n syniad siliedig ar hanes Cymru. Oherwydd Project Mawr, y ddau lywelyn, oedd i bod nhw yn gallu casglu gorogaeth ar weinwyr mi lwrol a gwleidyddol Cymru yr i chelwyr a ma'n dywysogion eraill ar y pryd i roi gwrogaeth iddyn nhw a'i bod nhw wedi dyn ni tro yn taro i gwrogaeth i goron Lloegr. Ac wedyn i mi beth oedd agoriad brenhinol fan hyn yn ni o lygu ond nid yn bod ni yn ddaro styngedig i'r dyna synedig ac i goron Llundan ond fel arall bod ni wedi cael cyniatad cyfreithiol yn dilyn llwyddiant y refferendwm ac yn dilyn dedd gyntaf y Llywodraeth Cymru i gael datganoli, i gael y cynulliad. Ac roedd dyfodiad y Frenhines yma i mi yn union rhyw fath at asain mynd i Australia, neu sy'n land newydd, neu unrhyw fan yn y gymanwlad. Neu sy'n cweit i ddweud o'r mor blaen wrth i hi y dwrnod hwnnw, ond mi geisio ni sgwrs digon tebyg yn y cyniawa cyson oedd ni'n gael bod pedair blynadd. Wel, ag un ychwanegol pan agorwyd yr adeilad yma, wrth gwrs.
But ask the Queen of England. A lot of people in London, for example, see her as important to the tourist industry. But she's Queen of England. And you know her siblings uh, will be then Prince or Princess of Wales. But they're still not ours. Um, her role in the greatest scheme of things over there is diminished. More kids now take notice of Simon Cowell on the X Factor than they will the Queen. While they're going about their own little business, they're not. They're not part of today's culture. They're not part of today's, you know, celebrity culture. So they're pre pretty irrelevant. Oh, she's a magnificent figurehead. But I think it, she's a, it's a wonderful thing, really. She's not a president. She's not voted in. She's there for life and hopefully a long life. Um, her job is to reflect, I suppose, the fact that we are uh, the nation that we are. I think she, and she, she knows what's going on, I'm sure she does, and she responds to that. So I think she's an absolutely marvellous woman. Yes. I just see her as a sort of nice granny figure, really. Um, you know, she has sort of changed over the years. She's obviously 85 now. She's very hard working still. I think she very much still takes her um, coronation oath extremely seriously. But, you know, it's lovely when you see snapshots of her with the grandchildren, um, you know, looking really proud when she's on, like, say, William's and Catherine's wedding day. I think she sees her role as an ongoing one and one that, uh, quite rightly, she's not going to give up on. Mahuna and Bushigauni me, a still Guerinath and a termina, a dinidong in Hitler Republic, on Guerinath and the rest of the world in the and the Lord Democratic, advice he would come on the Bobol with the Mino equal to the Queen. And you, Marduin Dillin, Rathron and Maur, Richard Price, or the Navar Gan Raven and Materhun, my grim of Renhiniath, a Forbes of Atliat. I doubt very much if she's looked up to by the people who were in the, um, the very, very far left, if you like, in terms of Welshness. I believe the Queen doesn't have a role in Wales. I see it as a symbol of imperialism and of privilege. I think that the uh, applied Cymru and so on will pay a slight tribute, but not major tribute. I mean, it's reported by Reuters that her fortune in 2010 was, in American money, 450 million US dollars. Now, if that's not privilege, I don't know what is. But the people of Wales adore their Queen. The people, the people that count, uh, and particularly in the south of Wales, where we are the biggest numbers of people, the North Wales perhaps not so strongly a pro queen as us, but in this area, in the whole of South Wales, we adore our queen. Her role in Wales is a symbol of imperialism and the system that has smashed Wales, a deliberate system of crushing and quelling our history and our people for the benefit of their own. I wouldn't have thought it any different from her relationship with England and Scotland. In fact, I don't think it's much different from her relationship with anything in the Commonwealth, because the Commonwealth is one of the great things for the Queen. She's a great believer in that, and I think has held it together for the many, many, for all the years. So I don't think there's anything special about Wales, no. Um, I haven't met her as such, but I've, I've been stood within about five feet of her when she opened the Wales Millennium Centre. I was part of the um, journalist pack that was there following her around, really. And I was amazed how sort of tiny, petite she was. Um, and she did just look like somebody's grandmother, you know? She, she, she looked beautiful, she was, um, but she, she was just in really ordinary and down to earth, really. Yeah, the Queen was uh, inducted into Goddess of the Bay in 1946. And imagine the honour of that. Imagine being taken into the Goddess Now, with the robes and the ceremonies, 
but she probably wasn't in all of this because she's used to robes and ceremonies. So to any one of us, it's a great honour. But she's done nothing with it since. Who knew she was part of the goddess of the bird? She should be there every year. Every year, If she's got any interest in Wales, or if she had any interest in her son being the Prince of Wales, then she should have done something with the fact that she was inaugurated into the goddess of the bird. Otherwise, why bother? A very nice that dear a bobble somebody has thought. He gas clean heat van in and who at the earth can he see at needs of it, the other need a daylight. Can he see at the dear at the pamper in Galano? Can he set contar? I'll get his head at the Guinness. I can apply. I got in Vanamar Grim and Dodd, a city at any and very nice at any democratic athletic on the Mai and a Renhinias and Fir Oladurias at any Rana Honey. Ac fel y mae'r brenhines mewn enw yn bennais ar eglwys wladol yn Lloegr, um, nid yng Nghymru, gan bod i wedi i dadgysylltu. Yna y brenhines hefyd wedi pennaeth y cyfansoddiad. I hope it's a long, long future. I'm sure it does. I'm quite sure it does. The more people hear of what goes on in countries, whether they're presidents or non-presidents. The fact that we have a non-elected queen, head of state, I think a future is f with us forever. I hope so, I'm sure of so. I think what's been amazing in her service is the way that a country like Australia, yes. so far away and so independent in its thinking, still, yes. still, it has a majority of people who want the Queen to be the head. Yeah, yeah. A titular, okay, titular head, but still they want to pay obeisance to our Queen. Yeah. And that in itself says how, how, what a, a strength she has over not just the, the, the Commonwealth, or the old Commonwealth, but the world. Yeah. I think we're looked up to largely because of our Queen. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I was in my Gwedi Lateli Erbin Hin, Sid and Gunaid Muya, or Sap with her with the Cymru. Matosa Cymru, where he bought an Arbeni gown, and her with a Buit Cymru, a Rice, Hannes Cymru, and do it with him a mill board of Renhines and Gnade Gamet in Yonker Hall or Sap with Cymru Vel Kennedal, my Vui Anglian a Kidnapper the Ice Cymru Vel Kennedal of Eon of Laturias. Ac tra bo, tra bo y wladwriaeth Brydeinig, a tra bydd Brenhiniaeth, yna uh, mae hynny'n mynd i fod yn bwysig. You know, the Queen's 85 years old now, but she shows no sign whatsoever of slowing down. And I think she probably will scale back on her engagements and I think she'll, you know, let Prince Charles do more for her. But I think, I, I don't see any sign of her handing over the crown to Prince Charles at all, to be honest. I think she'll continue until the very end. Um, I don't know, I think the royal family is changing a lot now. Um, it isn't quite so removed from society. I think with, with like Prince William and Catherine Middleton, they are seen as a lot more in touch with young people of today. You know, they go to the local cinema, they don't have all the bodyguards surrounding them. Prince William has got a job. Um, and I just think they're going to integrate much more with, with society in, in the future. Did you know there are 15 police officers guarding him every time? So yeah, good for the bar behind wherever it is if they if they're all buying a drink. But it's going to be like a carry on scene, that isn't it? Where he goes in and then the 15, the five that went in before, the five that come in after, the five that are hiding behind the the trees. It, he doesn't go drinking in a local pub. She doesn't go shopping to. These are photo opportunities. It's about time the people of Wales woke up and realised that they will never lead a life like you and me. That, it's not possible. They can't do it. Their special branch people won't let them walk into a shop on, you know, in Ernest Morn. It doesn't matter how much they want to do it. He can't pop into the local for a pint. He, they don't live a normal life. As Nid Kenedl Narostang Edig, at any on Kenedl Gatrad and Nernasai Hin, at my Rady Baub Gernabot Hindi, at my Bra Board of Renhinias and Watlan Gernabot Hindi. Mwy falle na'r rhai gwleidyddion. Yn fwysig yn nicio i nhw dweud, diolch.
dyn ni di reoli dros ych chi digon hir o angoch chi Cymru fach yn ôl ond dwi'n meddwl na'i weld o'r o sydd. I would give her an award any day. I'd make yes. it an MBE or even an OBE. <laughs> <laughs> yes.